Here's a new dulcimer I'd like to take a look at. The fretboard and the pegboard and the end pieces here are Paduk. The back side is also Paduk. It's very red, a little bit orangey on the top pieces. The bottom piece has been stored around here a little bit longer. It's probably began to age. As it ages, it turns a little more reddish brown, not quite as much red or orange color. The top is Sitka spruce. The sidewall is the Feli. It's a mahogany looking wood. One of the, the main difference here is this adjustable bridge that I've been thinking about for a few years and finally got busy and did something. Uh, one problem with stringed instruments is if you like to keep the action as low as it will work. Sometimes in the winter you start getting fret buzzes as wood dries out and things change a little bit. With this you can simply turn these little knobs and raise the bridge, lower it back if it works out later. It's also of course adjustable forward and backward. Allows you to set intonation perfectly. Simply tune a string and then check that string at the bid point which is an octave higher and I would have a tuner on to do that. If that note comes out sharp, move the bridge back a little bit so that the string length is longer. If it comes out flat, move it forward. Start out by just setting it where you think it should go. This one has a 27 and a half inch variable string length. It usually comes out about an eighth of an inch longer than that to be right. So start there and then check the notes. Once you've done this a couple times, you'll probably just set it there and it's going to work. You might have some real minor adjustments. It will normally stay there, but putting it in a case or something, you might uh, bump it or move it. Obviously, when you change the strings, you might move it. So you have to know how to adjust it, but it's really pretty simple once you've done it.